I made this, I made this, I made all this. Welcome, my darlings. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am C, and this is CJ DIY. If you haven't watched my video from last night, I proclaim myself as an artist. So as an artist, I can make any kind of art piece, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna be making a wall art piece made out of wood. I'm gonna be using that flower cut out and those whiffing wreaths. I cut off a couple of pieces, equal pieces, and out of those whiffing wreaths, I'm gonna be making a flower petal. So I'm gonna be making like a large flower wall art piece. So I'm just connecting both ends and with a staple gun, I'm gonna staple them on that flower cutout. I purchased that flower a long time ago from Joanne's, I believe, on clearance. You can find those cutouts even in Dollar Tree. Not exactly the same one, but similar. And the whiffing reeds are from Amazon. So as you watch me, I'm just making a couple of flower petals until the whole flower is filled with them. Super simple and cute project. And it's gonna look super cute on any wall decor. Today, I decided to show you how quick and easy you can make a very high-end look for your home decor and you can use this decor that i made today as an everyday decor and we don't need to spend the fortune but still our decor is gonna look very high-end and my goal of course it is to give you tons of inspirations for you to create beautiful and quick high-end decor very low on a budget now that we made the large petals it's time to make small petals i cut off a couple of small weaving reeds and we're just gonna twist them and make them the same way except this time those small petals gonna go inside of the large petals so they don't need to be perfect all i'm looking for is just to fill out the large petals with the smaller ones so we can have some extra embellishment to our flower. While you're watching me finishing up this art piece, I would like to say thank you so much for taking time of your busy day to watch my video. I really love you and I appreciate each and every one of you who are always watching my videos and giving me the best comments. To finish up the look of this flower, I made extra large petals, just a couple of them to fill out the empty space and this piece is coming out to look very nice. At first, I wanted to leave the natural look to this wall art piece and at the end, I decided just to tone down a little bit the flower cutouts with the antique wax mixed with water. And then I'm gonna remove it with a baby wipe. And I think it looks very nice. Let me know what do you think.
today is that time again. What would you make challenge? Hosted by my amazing darling friends Zena from OK at Home DIY and Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. And this month, guest host is Lini from Crafty Lini. All links from their channels are in my description box along with the amazing playlist with so many talented creators and lots of inspirations. And after you're done watching my video, you know where you're going next and please show them lots of love because all of us are working very hard to give you lots of inspirations. Quick and easy wooden DIY, I'm going to be using this wooden frame that I found in my crafting stash from my previous creations and I'm going to be adding those wooden cutouts from Dollar Tree. I removed the handles and I'm going to be adding those beautiful cutouts on the edges of my frame. I have also stained those wooden cutouts with antique wax with water and now I'm just adding a glue and adding them on the corners of my frame. I'm gonna be adding this beautiful vintage cross that I got from Hobby Lobby. Also, I found it in my crafting stash. I bought it on clearance for a few cents. And now I'm adding first lace ribbon just to see how it's gonna look. I wanted to give that shabby chic vintage look to it. And I wanted to hang that cross in the middle of my frame. And then I decided to add this mesh ribbon because I think it looks better and I glue it on the back of the frame and also I staple just to make it more sturdy and this project is done quick and easy and so beautiful let me know what do you think just perfect for Easter or as a everyday decor on our wall I'm also adding those wooden cutouts that I got in my stash and I'm just adding them to the other corners of my frame and that's it. Another quick and easy DIY, I'm going to be using those wooden frames from Dollar Tree that they're from Halloween. As you can see, all I'm going to do is removing the middle part of those wooden cutouts. All I need are the frames. Those frames are just perfect, shabby, chic, modern, vintage look, and they're going to look just perfect for my decor. Now with my cutter, I'm going over the edges, and after that, I'm going to just send out the extra pieces coming out of it this wooden piece is so thin that you can even cut it off with the scissors so i'm just going first with the cutter and then i'm gonna go with the scissors and it's gonna be removed super quick and easy I'm going to be using those metal flowers, they're from the garden section from Dollar Tree. I got those done on my earlier projects last year. All I'm going to do is paint them out with the ivory wafer leaf chalk paint, covering in them all and give that neutral, vintage, shabby chic look to it. And when you paint them over, they don't even look that they're for an outdoor. When they're nice and dry, I'm distressing them with antique wax to give that vintage look. Also in the middle, I'm gonna be adding a burlap flowers. And on the back, I added a tumbling tower block with those sticks and I zip tied them 
so I can make a X shape and now I can connect those flowers on my frames that we cut out and we're gonna have a beautiful vintage shabby chic look I love the colors and everything how it came out let me know what do you think I am doing the same thing on my second frame. I always, when I make some art pieces, I like to pair them. So I try to make two of them so it can match on the wall, adding two of them or on the vignette, whatever you like. Also on this one, I put a lighter burlap flower in the middle and I love them. First, I was going to leave them like that and then leave a, a ribbon put a ribbon on top but then adding that ribbon with that neutral color didn't look good so I decided still to antique wax the frame with um, water antique waxed and then we're gonna use a wipe just to wipe it off and just have the vintage look to the frame And I'm showing you the difference between the lighter and the darker shade of the frames. And this is what I'm talking about. When you add that lace ribbon, now with the darker frame, it looks much better. So I just made a simple shoelace bow ribbon on top. I just glue it and cut off the edges, the ducktail. And that's it for this DIY. Super quick and easy. And look how gorgeous together with the cross they look perfect I am in love with them I'm in love with this neutral wooden look and as you can see if you go to Heinz stores this year everything is like a neutral wooden look for a home decor for this year and I think this is just the perfect style for our home decor For the next DIY, this is not a DIY, this is a hack. My daughter bought me this beautiful bird cage from Target Dollar Spot, and I'm gonna be adding it on top of this metal riser. I got that metal from Hobby Lobby or from Joanne's long time ago. I only paid like three, four dollars when it was on clearance, and I'm just using it for every decor that I'm making as a centerpiece. I'm gonna be adding this beautiful golden vintage angel holder. I added on top a smaller candle and around the angel, I'm adding this beautiful ivory foam roses that I got from Valentine's Decor from Dollar Tree. They look so perfect for this decor. I'm just going around until I fill out the whole section around the angel and now I'm gonna add the bird cage on top and I think it's gonna look so high-end and I'm in love with this beautiful shabby chic centerpiece we can add it in our mantel on top of our fireplace use it as a centerpiece for our upcoming Easter or every day it's just perfect to give that shabby chic look i made a simple shoelace bow out of this beautiful lace ribbon now what i'm doing is i'm adding a twine on the back of the bow so i can tie it on top of the cage and look how gorgeous it looks i am in love with this target is surprising me lately i haven't been there but my daughter shops there often and i was surprised from the beautiful pieces that she brought me 
and she only paid a couple of dollars for them. And it is time to celebrate our dear Lisa Nabria. She's been with our creative community from day one, always supportive, always positive, watching our videos, giving us the best comments. And Liz, my dear Liz, happy birthday. I wish you the best to hundreds and more. And thank you so much for your support from all of us creators. We are all wishing you the best, best, happy birthdays and many more, my darling. And to all my darlings, I love you all. And don't forget to check out the amazing playlist with so many talented creators and my darling friends. Zaina, Connie and Lini, thank you so much for another amazing month. And until next time, my darlings. I have a short video promotion tomorrow and on Tuesday I have another amazing creations for you. I can't wait to show you. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy from me to you. Bye-bye.